Hey guys, welcome back to another Open Broadcaster tutorial. All right, today it's going to be another quick one. Today we're just going to talk about how to add your webcam to your stream and how to set up global sources, what they are, and why they are so darn cool. All right, uh, before we get into that though, I just kind of want to go over what we've already, uh, you know, what I've already showed you. Uh, back in tutorial one, we, which was a monster length tutorial, uh, we showed you where to get OBS, what it was, how to set it up to get yourself up and streaming and, you know, all that goodness. In the second tutorial, we went over uh, plugins, where they are, or where to get them, rather, and how to install them. Uh, we also talked briefly about profiles, how to set them up, what they did, the fact that, you know, that it's very useful, if you, especially if you want to use different gaming services or streaming services, I rather, I guess I should say, such as YouTube, Twitch, Hitbox, uh, Random, whatever else. Um, let's see, the last tutorial, we talked about overlay graphics a little bit, how to set those up, how to set up some text so it can go scrolling across your stream, or how to use a text file that can be dynamically updated by another program uh, to you know, do all the heavy lifting for you and, you know, spit out the text on your screen for you. All right, uh, in this tutorial, like I said, it's going to be pretty short. We are going to cover how to uh, add your webcam, how to set up global sources, what they are, why they're cool. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up this, and I'm going to expand this up so you can see it a little bit. Not much has changed since last time, so let's go ahead and hit preview screen. Obviously, I don't have a game going, so there's not going to be anything there other than our overlay and our random foo-foo is random. I did change that. Shh. I don't think anybody will notice, though. It's okay. Okay. It's moving right along. Okay. So to add your webcam, it's pretty much the same as you add any other source. Uh, you'll go down here. You go add. You go to video capture device and we're going to which can be a webcam or you know a game capture card or anything else that well captures a video we're going to call this one cam pretty simple now it's going to pop up a configuration window and i'm going to give you a little bit of warning right now my webcam webcam is crap there is a reason i don't use it it's because it's ancient it's dying and I really need to replace it. <laughs> that being said, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, this is the configuration window where you can set any device that you so choose for, that you have available for capturing. Uh, you can flip your images, you know, vertically or horizontally if you really want to be upside down, which some people might record upside down and want to look up. I don't know. Yeah, you know, there's uses for it. Uh, but, you know, you have good control. You can set the opacity, so if you want your want to be a little opaque or opaque blah 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 <laughs> there goes the whole can't talk thing one more time i am still sick by the way so please just bear with me okay <clears throat> so you can set the opacity so if you want to be a bit transparent and show more of what you're streaming behind your cam you can do it that way though there are better techniques such as chroma keying using a green screen uh which sadly my webcam is not good enough to do that so I can't really show you how to do it at this point as soon as I get a better cam then I will be more than happy to show you how to do that because it's pretty cool and you can do a lot of fun things with it but anyway that's neither here nor there since I can't do it right now but you know it's a uh, you have a lot of control this would be where you would chroma key you can if your webcam has audio you can even input that audio mix it in uh, most webcams microphones if they have one built in as we know are crap so I wouldn't recommend it if that's all you've got then yeah you know whatever um, custom resolution you can control the FPS output format you know the whole nine yards uh, if we you know even deinterlacing which is kind of cool uh, if we click on configure that will bring up the actual configuration for your web your specific web that web cam itself and you can set it up to your heart's desire. We're just going to go ahead and click OK now. A global source is already using this device. Hmm. Let me check because I could have swore I had not. Yeah. Okay. So there is global sources here. Let's remove these for now. 
Yes. Remove. Go away, you're ruining my tutorial. Jeez, thanks. Okay. Now let's bring this back up. And, whoops. Add our capture device again. Call it cam. Whatever. We're going to be doing this uh, again here in a moment. But for you know, the sake of the tutorial, let's just do it this way. And uh, we're just going to leave all the settings default here. We're going to click OK. And and hi here i am guys how you doing this is me and this is the reason i don't use my webcam Shh. all right so let's go ahead and resize this and position it again we're just going to click the edit scene button here we're going to shrink this down a bit because i like to put mine right in here and what i do is i kind of drag it off to the side since i wasn't thinking and my webcam's junk anyway and i don't usually use it i made this square Go figure, right? Okay, cool. Very easy enough. Whatever. And we're done. That's how you add your webcam. Again, just make sure anything that you want uh, to be streaming is below it. Or, you know, your overlays are below it. That's the best, easiest way to set it up. Okay, so let's talk about global sources. Okay, what is a global source? Well, what's a source? A source is anything that you can add to your stream. Um, and yes, if you're looking down the corner and seeing these hand gestures, when I'm doing a tutorial like this, I do this. Go figure, right? Whether you can see it or not. Eh. Anyway, so um, a global source is just a source that is available no matter what scene or profile you are using. How do you add them? Well, I, you kind of already saw me fix this a moment ago so let's go right back into it let's actually shut you down and we're going to delete this camera um, which I can't do while the preview is running Boop. there we go all right so let's go ahead and bring that preview back up we're going to click on global sources and then we're going to go to add we're going to add the video capture device again again we're just going to call it cam and it's gonna pop that configuration window open. Cool, we're gonna be done with that. And then we're going to go down here. We're going to see global sources now in the list and click on that, just add it. Now this is handy f for things like this uh, that you want to be available no matter what scene you're in. Um, and you know, it might have specific settings like you need to get the color right or you know things like that. It's a very, very, very handy and powerful little tool, the global sources. So, as I was saying, it makes it available in any other scene. So let's go ahead and change over to the scene, which really has absolutely nothing in it. Um, we could maybe add something. Why not? Let's go ahead and add... Uh, yeah, let's add my Sony, or Sony, ha, huh? my Adobe Premiere. Uh, let's go ahead and do a window capture. We're going to set that window capture to use the inner window. And we are going to... There we go. But that's not showing up for some reason. Hmm. Foiling my plans. Very clever. Yes, indeed. All right. So let's just go ahead and say, meh, whatever, and add the global source, the cam. And as you will see, it'll pop right back up here as it was we're going to for this one put it here cool so that is you know the same configuration as over there everything is the exact same and it's shareable between or available to you no matter what scene you are currently in um, let's take it a step further let's go ahead and say add hmm, add image why not we're gonna call this BG because we're gonna make it a background image we're gonna go in here and we're actually going to go and choose a different file here well, from one of my various many locations man okay we're gonna go into stream stuff and we are going to pick um, what is that one I don't even know what that is let's let's go with yeah let's go with it just to see what it is actually and uh, my own curiosity. I make so many graphics, I can't keep track of them all, and they're kind of all over my computer, sadly. Organizational skills? Not so much. Okay, so 
call that good. Now we're going to add that in here and go and global sources. There's our BG right there. Boom. Oh, YouTube live. Okay, this was a thumbnail I made for when uh, I was streaming or doing a stream on YouTube, uh, testing out their streaming service. All right, so this brings up something else that we can actually kind of talk about. How do you, once you get once you add something and you realize it's actually on top of something else that you actually want to display, how do you fix that? Because you can't just grab and drag in this program. Pretty simple, order. Move up, move down, move to top, move to bottom. So we're gonna move this to bottom. Hi, I'm back again. All right, so uses for this, what I do, so you know, if we go back over here, hi, I'm down here now. Hi, I'm up here now. Hi, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, uses for this is, again, you can have things pre-set up the way you want them as far as configuration goes and share them globally. It makes it a lot easier to, uh, to manage things. Uh, one thing I haven't talked about, and we're going to go ahead and throw this in here, is how to effectively switch between scenes without having some pre program or applic or plugin rather that does it for you. Well, if you right click on your scenes, you can set all kinds of things here, order them, move them up and down as well as you please, as well as set a hotkey. So let's make this hotkey Q. Cool. And let's make this hotkey, well, let's go with W, why not? So now if I hit Q, we're there. If I'm W, we're there. I, I can do this for a while. Are you getting dizzy yet? I might be myself. All right. So, you know, that makes things switching scenes back and forth pretty easy and makes use of those uh, globally configured sources um, much more relevant, I think, because, you know, it, it's, it's a great way to switch between a pause screen because uh, when I'm streaming, what I do is I have a scene set up that has a background image, kind of like... Uh, this one right here, you know, the, the, yeah, that one, right back, whatever, you see what I mean, uh, and it just has my logo, and it has a little information screaming across the bottom, and, or moving across the bottom via, you know, the, a text file, and the scrolling, like I showed you how to do in the last tutorial, and then up here, instead of having a webcam, I have a game capture that I have set up globally, so whatever I am currently streaming, uh, you will see a smaller window of it while I'm AFK or paused looking at a web page to try and figure something out or responding to my wife, which happens quite a bit. So, but yeah, that's uh, global sources in a nutshell. That is how to you know add your webcam. Again, simple stuff, pretty easy. Um, and also, you know, we just covered hotkeys. Yeah, okay, I'm done. Seriously, sorry. I'm a little strange. If you haven't figured that out by now, if you haven't checked out my channel. Okay. All right, guys, that's it for this one. It's just another quickie. Let's get it done, getting it out there, showing you how to set it up. Comments below. Please let me know what you think of the series, and let me know if there's something specific you want me to go over, or if I've confused you somehow, and I need to bash my head in with a shovel and redo it because I could do that too though it would probably take a while because I'd be in the hospital from bashing my head open all right guys this is Neo and I hope you found this useful and informative uh, like toss a subscribe if you like the series so far and again leave me a comment until next time see you later thanks for checking out my video make sure you like subscribe comment and share it with your friends and family and until next time have some fun and I'll see you later